Hello everyone, today is Thursday and on Thursdays and Saturdays we try to do some fresh revelation, share some things with you that God's sharing in our own personal lives. Uh, here recently in my own study, I've been studying the book of Exodus, reading through it. And uh, recently I heard the story of Moses when I was doing this. Uh, from Exodus chapter 2, I'm going to read a few verses and I want to talk to you about building an ark for our children. Uh, the scripture says, verse two or verse one of chapter two. Now, a man of the tribe of Levi married a Levite woman, and she became pregnant and gave birth to a son. When she saw that he was fine, uh, the, a fine child, she hid him for three months. But when she could not hide him no longer, she got a passper basket for him and coated it with tar and pitch, and she placed the child in it, put him among the reeds along the bank of the Nile. His sister stood at a distance to see what would happen to him. Now, the reason she had to hide this child is because the uh, ruler of Egypt, Pharaoh, decided that he was going to kill all the Hebrew children. And he wanted all the male children dead. And uh, he did this as a proclamation. So this mother said, I'm not going to let him have my child. I am not going to let uh, the Pharaoh of Egypt take the life of my child. I am going to hide him as long as I can. And then when she could hide him no longer, she placed him in an ark and put him in the river and basically put him in God's hands. So today, just for a few minutes, I want to talk to you about building an ark around your children in your home. You know, we live in a society today to where you cannot avoid evil, but I'm afraid that a lot of people in the church have taken that to be like, just let the world have my children, right? Uh, they've got to be exposed to it. They're going to be exposed to it eventually. Uh, they're going to hear this at school. They're going to see this there. They're going to, someone's going to tell them about this. They're going to see it on TV. They're going to see it on the internet. You might as well go ahead and expose them to it. You can't hide it from them forever. But I'm here to tell you, if you're a Christian parent and you love the Lord with all your heart, you will do everything in your power to shelter and protect and build an ark around your child to protect them from this world. Don't let the world have an influence upon your children. Hide them away. And I, and I mean that uh, with all fervency. I mean, do not allow the internet to influence your children. Do not send them uh, to a school system that is going to influence them negatively. Do not let them hang out with people that's going to influence them negatively. Don't let them hear things they shouldn't hear. Protect them. Keep them young. Keep them innocent. Keep them pure as long as you possibly can. And the whole time you're doing that, you're protecting them from this world. You're building an ark around them. And that ark is Jesus Christ. It's the word of God. You take that word of God and you put it in your heart and you build that ark, right? That's the Bible app on my phone. You build the ark around them. And the thing that protects them is the word of God, right? You keep building up Jesus around you. You keep building that relationship. You make their relationship with Jesus stronger. They see you grow closer. They want to grow closer to the Lord. You teach them to have a prayer life. You're building an ark around your children and you're protecting them from this world. So don't take the... Uh, offense for me saying this but if you if you've just turned your children over to the world and you let them on the internet without protecting them if you don't see what their teachers are teaching them in school if you are not uh, at guard with who they're hanging out with who they're talking with on the phone who they're snapchatting with or whatever it may be then you're wrong protect your children Build an ark around them. Keep them pure. Keep them innocent as long as possible. And then there will come a day when it's time for you to release them into this world. And the ark of God's word, the ark of prayer, the ark of the relationship of Jesus Christ that you've built in those protective years will keep them safe, just like it did Moses whenever he was released into the Nile. So remember, there's four things we believe a disciple of Jesus Christ will do every day. You'll seek to encounter God. You'll exalt God. You'll edify yourself by reading the word of God. And you'll engage this world for Jesus Christ. Until next time, God bless.